Hello, you are welcome to solve x in this nice exponential equation. Here, yeah, from what is given, we have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power 3x equals to 10. Now, from here, what we have a raised to power n, raised to power n, the same thing as a raised to power nn. Which we can also write as a raised to power n or a raised to power n. So here implies that we can write this as 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x then raised to power 3 which is equal to 10 on this side. Then here we have 2 raised to power x come to the left. The letter explain that let u equals to 2 raised to the power x and this equation now become u plus u raised to the power 3 then equals to 10 then we can use this to form a quadratic equation and here we have I mean a cubic equation rather so by taking 10 here and rearrange we have u raised to the power 3 then plus u minus 10 now equals to 0 then from here we can write this as u raised to the power 3 then plus u let's write minus 10 here as minus 8 minus 2 then equals to 0 from here then this same thing as u raised to the power 3 10 plus u minus 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 then minus 2 which is equal to 0 then from here let's group power of 3 together we have u raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 3 then plus u minus 2 equals to 0 then here when we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3 the same thing as a minus b then into bracket b square a square then plus ab plus b square now from here following this pattern we have this is u minus 2 then into bracket u square then plus u times 2 that's 2u then plus 2 square that will be 4 then we have plus u minus 2 equals to 0 then here we can put this also in the bracket and we have u minus 2 now common so when we factor that out we have u minus 2 then into bracket what is left here we have u square plus 2u plus 4 then what is left here we have plus 1 then equals to 0 from here then here we have u minus 2 now then times here becomes u square plus 2u plus 5 then equals to 0 then from here we have two possible cases on this side we have u minus 2 equals to 0 or we have u square plus 2u plus 5 equals to 0 and from here we have u equals to 2 and here we can use the formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here u becomes minus 2 that's b that's minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square that's b square then minus 4 times 1 times 5 then over 2 times 1 and here this becomes u now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of here we have 4 then minus 20 
over q and which gives us u equals to minus 2 plus or minus root minus 16 over q and here this gives us root 16 times root minus 1 and root minus 1 there is i so we have root 16 there that's 4 so this becomes u equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4i over 2 and which is reduced to u now equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 4i over 2 and which gives us u to be equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2i now from here we call that we represented u as 2 raised to power x then when we compare here we have two possible values that means we have 2 raised to power x equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i now this side here will be a re you know solution and this side we have complex so because of this complex here we therefore reject this side so this side is rejected here <coughs> then going back here we have u equals to 2 and the u is 2 raised to power x so we have 2 raised to power x now equals to 2 and uh, clearly here we have this same thing as 2 raised to power 1 we have same base here then when we equate the power here we have x equals to 1 so the this solution we have here will be x equals to 1 then let's check what we have which is 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power 3x equals to 10 now substitute x equals to 1 this gives us 2 raised to power 1 plus 2 raised to power 3 times 1 that's 3 is equals to 10 so 2 raised to power 1 that's 2 that's plus 2 raised to power 3 so multiply itself 3 times that's 8 this is equals to 10 then we have 2 plus 8 that's 10 which is equals to 10 so left hand side equals to right hand side and hence we say that x equals to 1 to satisfy this given problem and here we come to the end of this class subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class bye